Yeah, we're looking at conditions that are going to be hot as we head into Monday, but then there's some changes after that. So we're going to continue with triple digits into the work week. Let's go ahead and take a look at where we saw some records though today. So Sacramento had a daytime high of 109 degrees. That breaks the old record of 108 set back in 1935. Stockton hit 109, which breaks the old record of 108 set back in 2005. And Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe Airport reported a daytime high of 93 degrees, which breaks the old record of 89 degrees, also set in 2005. So this evening, what do we expect? Well, we have conditions that are going to be fairly cloudy. We are going to keep things warm with temperatures in the 70s. And with that cloud cover, we're seeing some showers start to pop up and even some isolated thunderstorms and temperatures as we get into Monday will stay hot, but just not quite as hot is what we have been experiencing. So let's go ahead now and take a look at our current temperatures. It's still warm outside with temperatures in the 80s, upper 80s in Yuba City and Stockton, 90 degrees in Modesto, Tracy, 95 degrees, but much cooler in Fairfield as we do have a little bit of an onshore breeze bringing in some of that cooler air. And we're feeling that at least a little bit in Sacramento with a temperature of 80 degrees. Gets much warmer in Auburn, 90, 66 currently in Truckee and 69 degrees at South Lake Tahoe. So as we go through the next 12 hours, temperatures will steadily decrease as we headed to tomorrow morning, but with a cloud cover, temperatures aren't expected to get um, too cool. We're looking at morning low temperatures in the low 70s, and then we start warming up with cloud cover actually on the decrease, giving us a little bit more sunshine as we get through the day. And yes, like I said, temperatures will get back into the triple digits. Also, we're tracking those showers and thunderstorms that have started popping up over the coastal hills. We've seen that from Napa County. You can see we had a few little lightning strikes with a short lived thunderstorm there all the way up through Lake County, and these are going to continue to push across the valley and on into the northern Sierra, especially on the western slope. Plumas County seeing a few scattered showers here and there. And again, I think the chance for more lightning strikes is going to increase as we head through tonight and into tomorrow morning. We'll have more on that coming up now. Back over.